When you want to bring two result sets together in a relational database, you can use a union command or you can use union all. They don't seem to be too much different. However, there's a very large difference from the database's perspective in terms of what it's going to cost to actually satisfy that query. To explore that difference, let's grab a couple of result sets. Here I go. So first of all, let's start with union all. What does it cost for the database to do a union all? Well, this is what union all does. We get the first result set, and we bring it into the final result. We get the second result set. Done. That's union all. That's all the database had to do. Grab one set, grab the other set, bring it all together. Let's now compare that to doing a union. We start with a union all, but union has to remove any duplicate entries from the two result sets. So we start with that, and this is what we have to do. I'll put the greens over here. Oranges somewhere else, and the blues somewhere else. And then we start working on distinct sets. Whew. Now that I've sorted them out, I pick one from each pile. And that's the result of my union. Which would you rather do, union all or union? If you have two result sets that you know are distinct already, make sure you use union all and save your database a whole lot of work.